Dear subscribers of Andran Rulappam, we greet you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Daily meditation for Sunday, the 29th of September, 2024. The topic for the day is sanctified vessel. But the Lord said to him, "Go, for he is a chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before Gentiles." kings and the children of israel acts chapter 9 verse 15 if a person consecrates himself god promises to use him as a sanctified vessel just meditate again on cleansing or purifying oneself there were many types of consecrations sanctifications in the old testament times they used to sprinkle blood and consecrate the uncleanness leviticus chapter 16 verse 19 the priests made atonement to cleanse from all the sins leviticus chapter 16 verse 30 they purified with the water of purification numbers chapter 19 verse 12 in the new testament it is written about purifying the conscience the scripture says How much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God cleanse your conscience from dead works to serve the living God Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14 He had by himself purged our sins through his blood Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 It is the promise of God to use us as the sanctified vessel if we cleanse ourselves. If there is one chapter that is entirely dedicated to cleansing and purification, it is Psalm 51. In this psalm, King David pleads to be purified from three things. First, he prays for blotting out his transgressions. Second, He prays for washing him thoroughly from his iniquity. Third, he prays for cleansing from his sins. Look how he cries out to God. Purge me with this soap and I shall be clean. Psalm 51 verses 2 and 7. God had a great purpose in the life of Moses to deliver his people from Egypt and lead them to the land of Canaan. God had to sanctify and prepare Moses for that mission. He said to Moses, "Take your sandals off your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground." Exodus chapter 3 verse 5. The holy God expects holiness from his servants. God took Moses through the process of purification for 40 years. He made Moses to unlearn all the things he learned at Pharaoh's palace and learn to completely depend on the Lord. The Lord wanted to sanctify Apostle Paul before exalting him in his service. He commanded Paul and said, "Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord." Acts chapter 22 verse 16. Paul who was thus sanctified writes therefore having these promises beloved let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit perfecting holiness in the fear of god 2 corinthians chapter 7 verse 1 children of god the lord may be leading you through many experiences do not become weary in your heart that you have been waiting for many long years believe that he is sanctifying and making you holy and prepare you for his great work verse for further meditation if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness 1 john chapter 1 verse 9 Today's Bible reading in the morning Isaiah chapters 7 and 8 in the evening Ephesians chapter 